<laughs> hey, welcome back to the Morning Brew. Our guest is say, hey, how do I look? Well, you guys look pretty good. Um, <laughs> I'm Larry Ernst. Here's Aaron Buffaletto, uh, and uh, we're your hosts today. Uh, this uh, portion of the Morning Brew is brought to you by Albuquerque Arts and Entertainment Magazine, everybody. New Mexico's only magazine dedicated to arts and culture, available online and all around Albuquerque and Santa Fe. We have two fine-looking gentlemen with us. Uh, Where are they? Where? Right. Oh, where <laughs> <laughs> we have Carlos Contreras, who's a poet and promoter for the band Saving Damsels, and J.J. Otero, songwriter, vocalist, and lead guitar for Saving Damsels. And you've seen him perform, right? Oh, it was a while back, but was yes. It? <laughs> oh, that bad? You had that look on it was, your face. No, it was years ago, <laughs> so I'm sorry it wasn't more recent. But Love the name yes. of the band, by the way. It's been a while. <laughs> well, you so guys. thank you for being here today. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, nice shall we, you know, let's, let's run a little video of you guys in action. Yeah. And then we can chat. Uh, a bit, okay? Here's a, a little video run of Saving Damsels. <laughs> Down to the bar every night Drink beer after beer Till I pass out in my tub I am a man I am a man Who likes to cheat On his woman's out of sight The things I have You like Very watching nice. yourself, JJ? No. Is that fun? <laughs> no. I just noticed I'm wearing the same clothes that I <laughs> from that night. He's like, actually, that was last night. <laughs> I just came from there. Hey, it's the uniform, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. And somewhat, yeah. The polo shirt. And, I'm hearing a little yeah. uh, classic rock influence there in your band. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I grew up on AM radio. And yeah. uh, so you've got some CCR, some of that... Uh, that old timey music and that definitely influences um, the songwriting and of course all the guy, the gentlemen in the band uh, um, they're all uh, my age or older so mm -hmm. yeah so we're we're kind of from that era when sure. when you could hear the words and all that <laughs> stuff. So. And tell us a little bit about how Saving Damsel da Saving Damsels <clears throat> came to be. Uh, you know uh, this is my very first band and. Uh, um, like I was telling folks earlier, uh, I had always been just uh, a couch performer, you know, playing for, for you know, my teddy bear and Friends all that. And so, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so um, about seven or eight years ago, um, a friend of mine uh, and I got together. We started playing acoustic songs together that I had written, and hmm. he really liked it. And he says, hey, let's get a, yeah, I know this guy. He's a bass player. Let's bring him on. And uh, we brought him on, and of course. Once you have uh, a three-piece, then you need uh, drums, obviously. So we started <laughs> the hunt for the band. So it's about seven, almost eight years now. Yeah. Yeah. It's all history from there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So. Now you guys are going to be playing at the Art Bar next week. Yes. So yeah. we have Carlos here to tell us a little bit about the Art Bar, real quick. Yeah. Um, art Bar is a gathering space, full-service bar, and an mm -hmm. event an event space in Albuquerque. It's actually the only non-profit bar in the country. Yeah, which um, I think this is amazing. And you can actually have a membership right. for it as well. Yeah, it's a membership-based situation. So mm -hmm. uh, members and their guests are always welcome. Memberships are always available at the door. Uh, for concerts like JJ's and Saving Damsels, we, mm -hmm. we work that out for members and non-members by the ticket price. And, and uh, we do their kind of music twice, twice a month on Thursdays. So nice. he's coming on the 27th, but Very twice a month cool. on Thursdays. Yeah, we have to go in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you guys are just, uh, Art Bar is just located right down the street. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at 2nd and Gold. Yep, 119 Gold, corner of 2nd and Gold, southwest. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very nice space, by the way. I love how you describe the band. It's a native soul rock that yeah. you do. 
Uh, um, yeah, one day we were just uh, kind of. Well, we, we, Saving Damsels is a product. It's a it's a business, mm -hmm. and so I had to figure out a tagline for, for the band. Sure. Yeah. You got and a so, branding statement there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And, and and that's what uh, I started writing down just a bunch of words, and so that's what uh, kind of rose to the surface as far as uh, this is what what our tagline is going to be. Mm -hmm. Native reflecting who I am as a, as a musician. Um, I'm Navajo and Hopi. And then uh, soul, just uh, that I put the, my, my soul into the music because it's, it's written, all the songs are written about some kind of deep, ex deep experiences that I've had, you know. And then uh, rock, of course, reflecting the genre, the primary genre that we're, we're always, you know, uh, paying homage to all the time, you know. So that's that's kind of how that came about. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you got into music after a challenging breakup, is that right? Oh shoot! <laughs> hey, we know all about <laughs> you. <laughs> as long as there's hey, no we, don't play any videos we about ask that. The tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a video of after the breakup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you really walked into it today. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah. yeah. But music no. really helped you get out of that. Absolutely, the music was a therapeutic tool for me at the time. And of course, I was really one of your, I was your typical country song, you know, drinking too much, gambling too much, messing around too much. And uh, so at the end of the, the lady I was with, she figured out that I was no good and uh, left. So mm -hmm. um, after that, then I had to really figure out what, what am I gonna do with myself now that I'm in this house all by myself, you mm -hmm. know? And so that's when I decided, well, I lost my guitar years ago at the pawn shop, of all places. And so now it's time to go get another guitar. So $50, $20 at a time. I uh, finally got a, got a guitar, an acoustic guitar. Great hmm. story. Oh, yeah. Good way to start yeah. fresh from there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, Where'd you grow up, uh, JJ? I grew up on the Navajo Reservation in the checkerboard area, uh, Torreon, New Mexico. Oh. So that's about, uh, oh, about an hour and 15, 20 minutes north and west of here. Um, that's where I was born and raised until I was about 17. Yeah, so. Did you look at music as a way out of the reservation? Uh, did you, or was it just <clears> one <throat> of the things that happened? It's one of the things that happened. I was, I was a, always influenced by the radio. I mean, because mm -hmm. that's right. all we had sure. for entertainment. Well, and then some TV, of course, but I love music. And then I went to church uh, as a kid and they always had a singing, and I love singing. Mm -hmm. So, and that's that's kind of how things uh, kind of germinated in my head, I suppose. And uh, but I never looked at it as as this is my out. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought to myself that I'm going to leave because there's so much, um, so much poverty, happening. so much uh, so much of the the negative things that uh, that happen in in a in a poor culture. That uh, I just wanted to take off and get out of there as soon as I possibly could, which is unfortunate because now I, f I feel completely like I want to go back. Yeah. As soon as I'm done with playing rock star and and being a, a contributing part of society, uh, working for healthcare for the homeless, mm -hmm. then yeah. I can go back. You know, I'm just like and make guitars. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for you. That's an awesome story. Yeah, so. I love you. your outlook. You, you have a, a real, um, you seem like you have it together, JJ. That's, mm -hmm. that's oh, what I Oh, my like. goodness. Yeah. I guess that, that can't be perceived. <laughs> Are, you <okay? laughs> Are you a rock star? Do you like that uh, whole rock star image? Not really, um, but sometimes I have to play the part, and, uh, and, and it's just part and parcel to, to being a musician, I suppose. But... I've always told myself that in order that I need to remain humble throughout this whole thing, that as long as I can play my guitar and sing on my couch, that that's everything I need. So yeah. the rest of it, this this show, it's all icing, icing on the cake. So. Yeah. Yeah. So your event next week, February 27th, 7 p.m. Now, do you have to be a member to attend this event? No, um, not at all. Um, it's open to members and guests, and membership's available at the door. So when you buy a ticket, 
um, for non-members walking up to the door it's an extra five dollars but that five dollars gets you in for a whole month to our bar oh, cool. so it's not only the show but it's the 30 that's, days beyond the show so you can come back nice. and check out another night um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah yeah and tell us a little bit about other events that are happening that, yeah that we do fun. comedy we do uh, DJs dance music hoedowns uh, rock oh. music blues uh just about anything you can think of putting in our space we put in our space it's wine it's tasting a, yeah wine tasting wine. Yeah, yeah. exactly you've had yeah. art there yeah, yeah. it's it, yeah art bar so there's art on the walls but we do like live art yeah just about anything you can think of it's a community space it really is so yeah. it touts itself as a gathering and a community space on top of being a bar and we're, we're really pushing that yeah mm -hmm. very cool one more que music question jj do you okay. guys do original stuff or you cover some songs uh, once in a while um, for short shows, like a one-hour show, we, we do primarily originals, mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, like the, we just came from Hatch, New Mexico this past weekend, where we played two nights, or two afternoons, and those are three, three hour sets. Yeah. And wow. so we had to throw in some CCR, some, some Brooks and Dunn, some, you know, some of yeah. that. Oh, yeah. nice. Kind of fun. So you yeah, take some special songs. requests sometimes? Yeah. Oh, yeah, if, you, if it's written on a $100 bill. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. I'll uh, remember that. Uh, <laughs> great to meet you, JJ. I'm going to come check out your band, man. I, I like All right. you. Uh, you're great. And uh, Carlos, uh, always good to have you on the show. Thanks, Thanks so much. Yeah, thank yeah. you both. Uh, Carlos uh, Contreras uh, works with the folks at the Art Bar. And JJ Otero, he's the man with the, the band Saving Damsels. This segment uh, brought to you by Albuquerque Arts and Entertainment Magazine. Check it out online. We thank Albuquerque Arts and Entertainment for bringing us this segment. We'll be back.